Hey everybody, it's Ramona. Welcome back. I haven't been around in a while. Been unpacking, still not done. Oh, that's the... And this is in my office area. It's still not done either. There's going to be some shelves. Anyway, packing nonstop to the point that I'm having a meltdown this morning. So I have to break away from the unpacking and do something fun, which is candles. Um, I am definitely type A personality. I want everything done today. And um, Jason is not, plus he has been sick, just a stomach flu, you know, stomach bug, not anything else. But anyway, so I'm trying to peck at it. I'm not pecking at it. I'm diving in with it every day. And I... The living room is done, the Christmas tree is up, it's decorated, the kitchen is done, the bedrooms are done except for stuff on the walls. My office is mostly done. It's just boxes downstairs of stuff and things that need to go on the walls and more candles and anyhow, so enough about that. We're going to talk about candles. So this is my candle day haul um, and I did order online uh, because when uh, candle day was the 7th, I believe, and I was still in the little town of Neminus and the candle stores in the city where I am now. So I just ordered online. What am I going to do about this sun? So I, I, have this, I have morning sun, apparently. Let's do this. Is that better? I don't know. Anyway. We're going to talk about candles. So, um, as I said, I did order online. And... Um, one was broken, and the one that broke was um, uh, balsam, vanilla balsam, I believe. Or what's the other balsam? Fresh, fresh balsam, fresh balsam. Anyway, that was the one that broke, and that was the one I really wanted to put around the Christmas tree. Um, and that was the one that was shattered. And it was just shattered beyond, like, no big shards. You know, sometimes you can pick it out and then use it to melt, but I couldn't. It was completely shattered. So we took it back. There was no more fresh balsam because they had set new things out, I think, for SAS, which I'm excited about. Anyway, so I got something different. This is a new one, uh, pink rose and leather. So I'm quite excited about this. It's in kind of like a, if, if you know embossed leather, like leather bags, it's something like that. I wish they had done, if they're going to, if they were going to do this, this the leather color and kind of embossing, I wish they I wish they had done more traditional leather embossing like you see on purses and boots and things like that. But anyway, I guess the pink rose is part of that as well. So, jabber jabber, uh, pink rose and leather is supple leather, blooming rose petals, and comforting patchouli. Okay. I get the leather. It's a little light. I get a light rose, which I'm happy about. I did not want the rose to overtake the leather. I really want to smell the leather. Patchouli, not so much on cold, but um, I'm really looking forward to burning that. How about I just light her up right now? Because sometimes you just need some candles in your world just to get through the day, right? And another thing I have to do after this is uh, most of my clothes, some of the clothes that were in the closet on hangers, they just, we just took them off the rods and hung them back up. But uh, like lots of sweaters and jeans and stuff that were just like on shelves are all in my suitcases. So this afternoon, that's what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do that. I'm not going to do anything else. That's all I'm going to do because I really need to take a break. Um... Because my, my head ain't right. Okay, so the rest, most of these are new to me. This one is not new to me, so we'll talk about this. I believe the rest are new to me. And this one is a repeat peppermint sugar cookie. And I think the label is pretty cute. And I'm looking through my bifocals like that. Sorry about that. I don't have my contacts in. So peppermint sugar cookie. Oh, this one is loose. Um, is, <coughs> pardon me. Uh, crushed peppermint, vanilla extract, creamy butter, and soft sugar cookies. And as I said, I've had this before. I really enjoyed it. 
Oh, yeah, really, really yummy. Very, very good. So that's a yummy one. Then we have Land of Snow, which is new to me. And again, I apologize for the lighting. I'll have to figure out where the best place is. It's like uh, 12, I don't know what time it is here, 1.30 or so. I don't, I don't even know. Uh, Land of Snow. Wicks look okay. And, ooh, this one is strong already. Uh, snowy Cypress, Ice Juniper Berries, and Frozen Oak Moss. And it is very, very strong. I definitely get the oak moss there, some kind of woodsy oak moss, and the cypress. I would say the cypress and the oak moss are the top notes. Um, iced juniper berries. I guess I definitely get an icy, cooly, frosty note with the woodsy notes. So that one I think will be very good. Then we have Tree Farm, which I've never had before. Cute label here as well. To me, I mean, I like the cute labels. Uh, some of the labels here I don't particularly care for, but I, if, if I don't like the label, I'm going to put it in the candle holder anyway, so no big deal. Okay, so um, this is Tree Farm, which is crisp pine needle, needle, warm cedar, and spiced apple. So this one, and I guess... Um, Land of Snow will be good right now when the tree is up. Oh, that's really nice. This definitely gives me Christmas tree vibes. Um, what would that be from the pine needles? Yeah. So actually, I'm going to take this one downstairs and we'll fire that one up. Then we have new to me sugar lemonade and blueberry sugar. Um, the labels like, eh, eh. I'm not really caring for the label. Um, sugared lemonade and blueberry sugar is sweet blueberries, fresh lemon juice, and sugar crystals. Ooh, yummy. Definitely the sugared lemon comes out. I get sugar crystals and lemon off the bat. Blueberries I get, they're kind of taking a back seat right now. But they are there, so that's good. I'll probably wait till spring to burn that one anyway. Cinnamon, spice, vanilla, and hot cocoa and cream. So I love hot cocoa and cream. Oh, I guess this is from the same collection, eh? Yeah, this is, would be, I guess, from the same collection. Anyhow, I loved hot, I love hot cocoa and cream, and I have one packed away somewhere. Uh, and we here we have um, a decadent milk chocolate, ground cinnamon, and vanilla bean. Hmm, it's light. I'm definitely getting cinnamon and I'm getting the milky note. But I'm not really getting any cocoa on cold. Decadent milk, chocolate, crown cinnamon, vanilla. I get the vanilla, I get the cinnamon. I'm not really getting any milk chocolate right now. So we'll see how that one goes. I like this lid too. It's kind of cool. Okay, moving on, also new to me is After Dark from the men's collection. Don't ask me why I ordered this, I don't know. Well, Jason does like those masculine scents, so that's probably why. Wicks look good. Yep, it's masculine. Spiced bergamot, amber, and smooth tonka. Hmm. It's... It's not as bad as mahogany teak wood to me, but that amber note is quite strong and it's kind of like a, a dark and, you know. Yeah, the bergamot and amber are giving it kind of like a dark, dirty amber note, sort of, you know what I mean? Um, apple wood and clove. And I have had a couple in this collection before, like one was coffee and whiskey, I believe. And I can't remember the other one. I, and I, I keep looking up there. My candles aren't there yet, but they're going to be there. Um, anyway, and I really like the coffee and whiskey one. So this one is rich apple wood, warm clove and white birch. Ooh, that's good. That's really, really good. I get the apple and the clove right off the bat. Nice. And do you know why it's re why I'm really loving it? Because I love the clove with the apple without the cinnamon. 
super nice. Yeah, that's really, really nice. So hopefully when I burn it, some birch will come out. But right now I'm getting apple and clove. Really, really nice. Look. <clears throat> Look at the, this is a poor excuse for like a color-free consultant. They're tearing. They're, my cuticles are hot. I'm just a hot mess. But anyway, I'll get to that later. Okay. Smoked vanilla whiskey. Also new to me. This is in a pretty frosted white um, jar. Uh, let's see, dark oak, bourbon reserve, and smoked vanilla. Oh, very smoky. I'm getting smoke right off the bat. Now, hopefully, <coughs> pardon me. So right now, all I'm getting is the smoke, is a smoky note. So I really want to smell that bourbon um, and vanilla when I burn it. Hopefully, it'll come out. But definitely, the smoke is very present. Okay, and then we have Falling Flurries. Label's not so bad. Um, and this is Frozen Thyme, T-H-Y-M-E, Fresh Eucalyptus, Ripe Pear, and Sandalwood. Thyme, Eucalyptus, Pear, and Sandalwood. Oh, that's really nice. Um, I'm not getting that astringent eucalyptus scent. You know, eucalyptus can be very sharp. I'm not getting that. I am getting a little pear or something a little sweet. So uh, I'm looking forward to melting that. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this came in body care this year or maybe just a fragrance mist. Um, but it's, I feel like I saw it in the store. I'm really happy to be in the city where there is a store now because I don't have to pay shipping. And um, just debating if I'm going to go to SAS in-store because it's going to be mob. I know if I get the first thing in the morning, maybe if I can do that. But anyway, I'm excited to see what's there. Uh, snowflakes and citrus, which I have had before and I really did enjoy. Juicy citrus, fresh spring water, and sweet mango. Yeah, I like this. It's very, uh, it is juicy. I can definitely smell the mango and the sweetness. Um, so that's why I bought that one. Um, this one, Old Fashioned Cider Donut. I, I know I've had a cider donut candle before. I can't, I can't remember if it was this one, the Old Fashioned Cider Donut or another kind of donut candle. You can help me out if there was in another another candle in donut scent. Anyhow, this is old fashioned cake donuts, which are my favorite kind of donuts. I will take cake donuts over yeast donuts every single day of the year. My grandmother, I probably told the story, my grandmother used to make cake donuts when, when we came to visit. And I always knew my cousin and I went straight for the cupboard. They were in a round tin and she put nutmeg in her cake donuts and they were just a little bit greasy. And, oh, they were so good. So, so, so good. When I think of cake donuts, I always think of my grandmother. Anyway, old-fashioned cake donut, uh, baked apple, brown sugar, cinnamon. It's light. I think I'm getting a little bit of like a cider donut note. I mean, cider and donut notes but it's light, it's very light. And then finally, uh, we have Tipsy Elf. And I guess this came, <coughs> this was probably in that um, collection with, I think, uh, Peppermint Sugar sugar Cookie, because they look, yeah, I would say that's the same collection. Anyhow, uh, Tipsy Elf, this is new to me, and this is, Oh, this one's loose too. Um, this one is Mary Vanilla. What? No, what does that say? It says Mary Vanilla. Oh, okay. Mary Vanilla, Jolly Nutmeg, a sneaky elf with a heavy splash of rum. So vanilla, nutmeg. So it's kind of like, I guess, um, eggnog with rum. Of course, of course it is with rum. I 
I kind of get eggnoggy. It needs more nutmeg for sure. But anyhow, and there's some, some, there's some like bits of candle wax all around there kind of good stuff. Anyhow, okay. So that's my candle day candle haul. So I'm set for candles for a while. Um, I guess when I'm finished organizing everything, I'll do a candle and I'll do a candle video and a updated wax video. Although I might wait to do that because I have some more points that is coming from uh, Kirby um, from um, Vintage Chic Scent. Sorry, my mind is just mush. And then, do I have anything else coming? No, I don't think so. Yeah, so I'll wait to do my that. Uh, I'll wait to do my candle uh, collection my wax collection when that comes. And then also to remind you, and I will be posting the scents in a couple of days, definitely before January 1, that's Bring Back My Bar. So my kit is on the way, the the, the uh, consultant kit, where ahead of time we get to purchase the entire kit, which I always do. I have always been doing since I did it the first time, the first couple of times I didn't. And uh, now I know to get everything because you never know what's, What's in there is something you're going to like. So anyway, it's been shipped already. So as soon as my Bring Back My Bar kit arrives, we'll be going through all of those on cold sniff. And then I will start melting them and trying to give you some warm reviews as well. So you'll have an idea of what you want to order if you don't already. Okay, that's it. Also, I'm expecting any day. I haven't gotten it yet. Um... Well, my whiff box went to my old address, but my friend Jane, who lives there, and I just met Jane on the channel, she picked it up for me, so I'll get it from Jane. But the scent and warmer of the month for January, which is the lantern warmer with the silhouette, very complimentary to the special edition warmer. So that should be here any day as well, too. I'm really looking forward to getting that and getting it plugged in and giving you showing what it's showing you what it's going to be like because it's really, really beautiful. I've had many compliments on um the special edition warmer all through the night. That was the one with the different layers of kind of wood things. I can't, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, it's absolutely stunning. It was a high price ticket, especially here in Canada, but I don't regret it. So if it were to ever come back, definitely uh, you need to get all through the night warmer. But anyhow, that's it for now. I'm going to put these candles away. I'm going to tackle the suitcases and then I'm going to call it a day because I am really beat. And like I said, I, I had a meltdown this morning. So, you know, I don't like moving and probably I had the meltdown because this is my third move in like 18 months and that's a lot. And, um, I'm just, I just, I just want to get it done. I'm the type of per I don't like those boxes down in the basement. I know they're there. I can see them in my head. You know, I, yes, I can take my time and do it, but no, I can't, you know, I got to get them done. So I'm trying just to, I need to pace myself a little bit more because I am, I can, I know I'm burning out. I'm not, and I'm not looking after myself at all. So yeah, anyhow. Okay, so that's that for now. I hope everybody has a very Merry Christmas. If you celebrate Christmas, happy holidays. And uh, I will see you soon. Bye.